Hello from Seoul. Do you like mandu, Korean dumplings? What about noodles? Dumplings? Good. Noodles? Nice. Then what if I combine those two? Yeah, sounds like a tasty wonderland, doesn't it? Alright, let me take you there. Are you guys ready? Let's get started. Today, we're gonna be making kaimanduku, Korean knife cut noodle soup with lots and lots of dumplings. Is that anything you don't love? No, I don't think so. And the great thing about this dish is it's super easy to make. So buckle up! For this, you will need beef, knife cut noodles, dumplings, garlic chives, green onions, garlic, and some chili peppers. But if you could also get these kinds of beef bone broth, it will taste like the one from Myeongdong that you might have seen in lots of Korea tour videos. So if there's something you've been missing so much, give this a try. You'll be surprised. What? You wanna know this kind of tip more and more? I'm so glad you brought that up because I wrote it for you. With this one book, you can cook more than 100 Korean dishes like a pro. So don't forget to pre-order my book today. The link is in the description. All right, let's start off with our vegetables. First, slice some green onions. As always, we're gonna use the white parts to make a broth and the greens for garnish. So make sure to separate the whites and greens. Next, grab a small handful of garlic chives and cut them into long strips. Actually, I brought these guys just to make it more pretty, which means it's totally optional. But as I always say, green makes your dish look fancy. So I hope you give this a try. What? You can't go to the supermarket just because of this? Then try it with a love green onion. No problem at all. Maybe that could be more delicious. Once that's done, thinly slice some chili peppers. Again, these guys are optional too, but as you can see from the thumbnail, they add a nice pop of color and give it some extra kick. So I strongly recommend using them. And then finally chop a few cloves of garlic. Although we are making traditional Korean noodle soup, we don't need like 10 or 15 cloves of garlic today. Just 2 cloves of garlic will be enough. Even though I always say there's no such thing as too much garlic to Koreans, not this time. Not this time, my friend. Lastly, let's talk about beef. Here, I've got 200 grams of ground beef. But if you have some leftover beef from barbecue party, go ahead and use that. No problem at all. But keep in mind that some fatty parts will make your broth more flavorful. That's the key. Alright, everything is all set. Let's get cooking. In a wok or pot, add 1 tablespoon of oil and heat it over medium heat. Once it gets nice and hot, add the white parts of the green onion and make green onion oil for about 30 seconds to 1 minute. Now increase the heat to high, add in our beef, and let that cook for about 1 to 2 minutes or until no longer pink. Here, make sure to break up the beef so that it doesn't clump together. And then add 1 teaspoon of sugar, 1 tablespoon of soy sauce, and give it about 30 seconds to 1 minute. Once your house smells wonderful and most of the fat has rendered down, turn the heat off. Now what you wanna do is take half of the beef from the wok and set that aside because that's gonna be our topping. Now into the same wok, add 6 cups of water along with some garlic, 1 tablespoon of soy sauce, 1 tablespoon of fish sauce, 1 tablespoon of dashida, Korean beef stock powder, and bring it to a boil. Here, if you can get this Korean beef stock powder, you can also use chicken bouillon powder. No problem at all. So just use what you have. That's the best. And I think I've said this a zillion times, but still, some people say like, Aaron, I don't like fish sauce because that's too fishy. If you say it like that, I'm 100% sure you never used it before. Because if you use it properly, you will only be left full of umami. That's right, it's like natural MSG. So stop worrying and give it a try. You won't regret it. Last but not least, if you want to get that restaurant taste, add a pinch of MSG. But totally optional because we already put that natural MSG in there. Now once it comes to a boil, strain 8 dumplings, cover and let them cook for about 5 minutes. For information, it's totally okay to use frozen dumplings straight from the package. Just make sure you give them enough time to cook through. And while that's going, cook your kaigoksu noodles according to the package instructions. 
What? You can't get this Korean knife cut noodles? Don't worry about it. You can use whatever you have. Just because you use other types of noodles, the world is not gonna be destroyed. So just use what you have. That's the best. When the noodles are done, take them out and shake off the excess water because any excess water can dilute our soup. Last but not least, bring a spoon and give it a little taste and add more salt if it's needed. That's it. Couldn't be any easier, right? Alright, time to assemble. Let's put some noodles into a bowl and gently add some broth over the noodles. And then top it up with some dumplings, garlic chives, beef, green onions, chili peppers, and a little bit of black pepper. That's it. How does it look? It looks absolutely amazing, right? All right, let's go to our taste tester. Claire? Wow, who would think this is made of frozen dumplings? Looks super fancy. Can't wait. This is so pretty, so I don't want to disturb, but maybe I have to, right? <laughs> Ooh, gogi topping it. 누드래 맛있는 건다 들어있네 국물을 먼저 먹어봐야 될것 같아 이게 평상시 내가 보던 칼국수 면이 딱 들어갔었을 때그 텍스처가 아니거든 좀 그거에 비해서는 덜 끈적끈적거리고 맑아 보여 Ready? 음음음오 진한 고기의 향이 쫙 느껴지고 칼국수 면이 들어갔었을 때그 특유의 걸쭉한 느낌은 없는데 그렇다고 맛이 빈게 아니라 되게 깊은 소고기 향이 나. 음, 맛있네. 음, 약간 떡 먹는 것 같은 그런 느낌도 있어. 음, 음, salty and beefy, so good. <웃음> 음, 음, 요즘 오늘은 좀 센스가 있었네. 김치. 먹자마자 김치를 바로 부르네. 음, 이거지. 부드럽고 소고기에서 나오는 그런 기름들이 코팅되어 있어. 되게 맛있어, 근데. 음, 간도 잘 뱉고 맛있어. 음, 음. This time, let's try the dumpling. This bad boy. Let's break it in half. <웃음> I love this curve. 속이 얼마나 꽉 찼나 확인해 봤어. <웃음> Ready? 음. You can't go wrong with this. It's, every time I have dumpling is so good. 음. 그리고 원래 시중에 있는 만두로 했었을 때 자칫 잘못하면 국물이 좀 짜질 수 있거든. 근데 오늘은 되게 밸런스가 잘 맞네. 되게 맛있어. 부추는 큰 역할을 하는 것 같진 않은데. 없으면 좀 서운할 것 같긴 해. 그러니까 이렇게 먹으면서 이렇게 눈을 행복하게 해주는 그런 매력이 있네. <웃음> 그 정도. <웃음> There's nothing to complain about because he served. 김치. <웃음> so good. 맛있다 만두. 난 만두는 맨날 먹을 수 있어. 너무 맛있잖아. <웃음> 음. Today, I showed you how to make kalmandukguk, Korean-style dumpling noodle soup. Before you watch this video, some of you might be like, Korean food? I don't know. I'm not sure if I can do it. I'm just gonna go get takeout. But how was it? As you can see, it's really really simple, right? As long as you have some frozen dumplings and noodles, it'll be kind of like making instant ramen. Yes, it's that quick and easy. And once you try it, it's so delicious, you will find yourself making this dish over and over again. I guarantee. Alright, this is it for today. Don't forget to pre-order my book and I'll see you next time.